Hi, I'm Ernie from Retirement SOS. And I know a lot of you are getting ready to retire, but there may be things in your head that are bothering you and maybe preventing you from taking that leap. So today we're gonna to look at six insecurities that may be holding you back from retirement. And we're also gonna look at how to move on from them, how to put them behind you. My main insecurity when I retired two years ago was financial. So I retired at age 65 and I actually could have retired at age 63. But for some reason, I had to wait till 65. I just didn't have the confidence to retire any sooner. And one thing that I didn't put enough emphasis on is that retirement is dynamic. And I know that many of you think there's this big, big wall that you have to leap over to get to the other side. And that's the retirement side. But it's not necessarily true. Retirement is an extension of your everyday life. And just like you're working now, you're making lifestyle adjustments, you're making financial adjustments. So it's really not that different when you retire. So let's look at insecurity number one. I'm retired. What am I going to do with the rest of my life? Well, I hear that all the time. And it shouldn't be a hard thing to figure out. Just think about the big influences in your life and carry them over to retirement. That's all you need to do, plain and simple. No deep introspection is required. So I'm going to give you an example. I know a guy who loved to sing, but he worked too many hours to pursue his passion. Since retirement, he's now in a choir and loves it. And all he did was extrapolate an interest that was bubbling inside of him and turn that into reality the moment he retired. So let's look at insecurity number two. I'm retired now. What's going to happen to my health? Is death imminent? Well, only God knows that answer, so don't even concern yourself with it. But believe it or not, a lot of people, once they retire, start thinking about their immortality and develop an abnormal fear of death. Now, statistically, the average lifespan of Canadians has been increasing, so keep that in mind. And let's face it, most of us entering retirement are going to have some little issues to deal with. The key is just to keep it in control have regular visits to your doctor, exercise, eat healthy, you know, all the usual stuff. Plus keep socializing and have a positive outlook about life. So the other day I was talking to an 89 year old man and I was complimenting him on how good he looks. And he told me, well, you know, I've got a lot of things wrong with me, but thank God nothing is flaring out of control. And every so often, he said that he likes to spoil himself with a nice piece of cake. And that's something I can certainly relate to. Who doesn't like a nice piece of cake? And mentally, this man is sharp as a tack. So let's look at insecurity number three. I've just retired, and as I look back at my life, I realize I'm dealing with a lot of regrets. And fortunately, many of us are going to go to our grave with regrets, especially when it comes to dealing with certain family members and friends. But moving on from regrets requires three things. Swallowing your pride, swallowing your sorrows, and swallowing your embarrassment. So one of my regrets is losing touch with my cousin. And none of us are mad at each other. It's just that our lives got very, very busy and we lost touch. So I want to make the effort to reconnect. So all I need to do is be brave enough to make that first phone call or send a text message. Insecurity number four. I feel like a loser. I don't have any friends in retirement. Who am I going to hang out with? 
Well, the quick answer is get yourself a dog. Okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. But for one reason or another, you've lost your confidence when it comes to social interactions. And as we get older, many of us don't have as many friends as we used to. So don't beat yourself up. However, start thinking about how you can widen your circle of people that you know. To do that, you'll need the courage and confidence to reach out. Get in touch with an old friend or join a meetup group and see where it leads socially. In addition, try participating in an activity you'll enjoy and I'll guarantee you'll develop those social connections naturally. Pick a ball, anyone? So we're looking at insecurities that may be preventing you from retiring or insecurities that may crop up after you retire. So insecurity number five, I'm too old to start something new. Well, that's when you have to have a chip on your shoulder. And here's my example. When I told people I'd started a YouTube channel, I'm sure they were thinking that I'm too old to be doing this type of thing. YouTube was for younger people. But what a bunch of BS. That just made me more determined to prove them wrong. And don't let negativity get you down. This is your time. Try something out of your comfort zone because you're never too late to learn. Insecurity number six. Do I have enough money saved for retirement? And how am I going to survive without a regular paycheck? Do you think I can get through this without talking money? <laughs> Just no way. And I understand the self-doubt about finances. And yes, I realize it's going to be a weird feeling not getting a paycheck. But Financial confidence is all about having a long-term plan, a yearly budget, living within your means, and seeking financial advice if needed. So let's not kid ourselves. Inflation and the challenging cost of living will require tempering your lifestyle expectations. So for my experience, it's the accumulation of everyday little experiences that add up to a significant life. So don't despair if you can't afford a trip to Florida or Arizona this year. Just keep saving and maybe you'll go next year. Do the best with the resources you have available and never compare your retirement with someone else's. That will drive you insane. So there's always going to be some lingering uncertainties on the day that you retire. But it's human nature to make them bigger than what they'll turn out to be. Let me tell you, retirement is a wonderful life. So come join the club. There is a chair with your name on it waiting for you. So thanks for watching. So until next time, bye for now.